Well, it was a much cooler day out there today compared to what we've seen the past several days. And of course, the main headline has been those brush fire conditions, and that trend will continue right on through the next several days. Dew points staying very low and conditions staying very dry right on through most of this upcoming week. Taking a look outside right though, can, right now though, conditions are very quiet. A little less gusty today, although we are still in that pinpoint weather alert due to conditions being very favorable for brush fire development. Uh, so please, as we've been mentioning, avoid any outdoor burning through the next several days as dew points will stay very dry and we're not tracking any precipitation, so the ground will be staying very dry as well. Your temperatures are going to be dropping considerably as we head towards the overnight. Our, we are tracking the chance for some patchy frost as well as we head towards the pre-dawn hours in the start of your day tomorrow on Monday. So if you do have any plants that uh, are pretty sensitive to those colder temperatures, might want to either cover those or take them in as we head towards the overnight hours. Your temperatures right now, though, still in the low 40s, but will continue to drop as we head towards the overnight. 43 right now in Providence, down towards the coast. We're at 47 right now in Narragansett. So as we've been mentioning again, that brush fire threat will continue with very dry conditions across southern New England over the next several days. We're looking at a cool start to your work week, but the good news is just in time for Halloween, those temperatures are looking to be well above average, well into the 70s as we head towards the middle of this upcoming week. And let's take a look at the drought monitor here. So with the very dry conditions that we've been seeing, you kind of see these uh, light yellow patches. That Those are areas that are in a moderate drought here in our immediate area, Rhode Island, abnormally dry. But if we continue this trend that we've been seeing so far this autumn, we are heading towards kind of more of those drought stage conditions in Rhode Island over the next couple of weeks here. Wind gust forecast as well, that has kind of been another issue as far as sparking up some of these fires that we've been seeing. Overall, a little bit breezier in the morning compared to what we're seeing in the afternoon and expecting those winds to die down a little bit, which should help uh, as far as any of those brush fires sparking up, but still again, very dry conditions across the area. So avo avoid any outdoor burning satellite and radar seeing some mixed cloud coverage now, but we'll still be mainly clear as we head towards the overnight high pressure will continue to dominate here, which will keep things dry, but we're also seeing much cooler temperatures. Let's take a look here as we head towards the overnight again, temperatures dropping well into the thirties for those pre dawn hours. So as you're stepping out the door early, going to feel a little bit colder, a little bit more like winter with those temperatures settling in the low to mid 30s around six, seven o'clock in the morning. So if you're sending the kids off to the bus stop, want to bundle them up with those extra layers and we're not really going to improve all that much as far as feeling warm by the afternoon. We will be seeing plenty of sunshine, so pleasant conditions, but those highs will only approach the low to mid 50s by the afternoon. So let's take a look Monday morning again. That frosty start, some patchy frost is possible early in the morning. We will start to warm up as we head towards the afternoon, but again, those highs staying pretty low, uh, well below average, only approaching the low to mid 50s across the area. But let's take a look at that seven day forecast, something to look forward to here as we head towards the middle and end of this upcoming week. Halloween especially looks great. The trick or treating forecast seeing highs in the upper 70s. So looking at a little bit of a, a late or kind of a late summer feel to middle of fall at this point. Uh, in a few days, so good news there. Awesome, thanks so much. Now in sports, more highlights and reaction from the exciting Patriots win over the